Let's get this show on the road. Welcome to Metabolic Challenge and welcome to Movember. So with Movember, we are doing Men's Health Month. So your tip of the day today for Men's Health Month is you are feeling sleepy. It says get enough sleep. Not getting enough sleep can affect your mood and your health. See a doctor if you think you have a serious problem. Sleep apnea, a common problem in which your breathing stops briefly, can increase the risk of accidents and certain health problems. So there's not always just giant things happening, right? I don't have sleep apnea, but I still don't get sleep because I have a two-year-old that decides doesn't sleep all day. So there's different factors with sleep. So just make sure you're getting your recovery when you can for resting your body because that's when your brain can really reset from your day. And then let's go with our joke of the day today. Our joke today, what snack has a great mustache? What snack has a great mustache? And just so that we can, you know, I'll put my mustache on. See, there you go. Fake mustache. What snack has a great mustache? A pistachio. Uh, pistachio. Huh? <laughs> Dad jokes. It's so bad. All right, let's go ahead and get warmed up. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and widen out those feet about shoulder width. You know, before class started, this thing wasn't glitchy at all, and now it's behind. So I might have to change my internet again. About elbow width apart in that wide stance. Let's fold forward, reach down to the ground, stretch those hamstrings out, squeeze those glutes to come back up, fold forward, come down, come back up. Now let's get a good five of these with a nice little pause at the bottom, come back up. Down, come up, let's go one more, down, and come up, good, walk those feet in a little closer, so now I'm about shoulder width, go ahead and bend the knees, sit those hips back, so like you're in a base position, kind of a tall squat, right, like I'm sitting on a tall bar stool with my feet on the floor, now I'm going to fold forward, reach those hands down to the ground. I'm going to leave my left hand down, reach up to the sky with the right, rotate to the other side, get four of those on each side. Last one. Good. Now stand up nice and tall again. All, all the way up. Good. Let's go drop lunge. So I'm going to sweep that leg in behind and down to the ground. So we'll go five all on one side. Sweep that leg around. Come down to the ground. Press back up. Step across. Sweep. Down. And up. Now today, with or without weight, up to you, okay? We do have our little density training we're going to be doing here in the start of our workout today. So if you have weights, we can use them. If not, all the movements are the same. They're just going to be without weight, okay? Switching sides, sweep, and come up. After the warm up, I will share the Spotify link if you guys want it so you can listen to the men's health playlist. Good, get your five and five. Next one, down to the ground. Down to the ground, glute bridge position, digging in those heels, 
We're going to start with a two. So we're going to drive up nice and high with two. Squeeze at the top and hold. Three, two, one, down. Good, drive up. Hold, hold, hold. Three, two, one, down, back up, up, up. Three, two, two, one, down, back up. Three, two, one, down, extend that left leg out. Bring that right knee to your chest. So I'm holding at my knee, pulling towards my chest. So we'll do a knee hug first. Knee hug first. Now grab behind that hamstring. Straighten that leg out. Get that bent knee hamstring in. And down and up. And down, up, down, up, down, up. Got one more. Down and up. Good. Switch to the other side. Knee hug first. Good, nice, long knee hug. You can open up that hip socket by rolling that hip around a little bit, loosening things up. Good. Reach behind that hamstring. Kick that leg up. Down. Up. Make sure you're breathing. Down. Up. Down. Down, up. Ooh, that's a good tight one right there. Last one. Down, up, and relax. Good. Let's go dead bug position. Tighten up that core. Relax your head down to the floor. The baby woke up. You guys can't hear him. Come into that dead bug position. Do a couple of bracing breaths. Nice deep breath in. Push it out. Lock that core in, in, out. Now lock opposite arm to opposite knee and let's extend out and bring it back. Let's go five of those on each side, but stay all on one side and then we'll switch. Once you get your fifth one, switch to the other side. Last one. Good. All right. From here. Let's go up to our feet, get things kicked off. So we're going to start with a deep squat to hamstring. So I'm going to widen up with, we're going to squat down, first, glue those hands to the floor, drive them, and then roll up nice and slow. Nice and slow. Yeah, I see that. All right, deep squat hamstring. Let's do this. Maybe this will help. Let's do five deep squat hamstrings. Wrong button. Go there. There. Let's see if that helps. Maybe. Yeah. 
can you guys see me now or is it worse you can send that into the chat technology these days might take a second to clear up seems fine now thank you bill now i'm switching headphones too but i don't know if this one like so once you're done with your deep squat hamstrings, which I did not do with you guys because I was uh, trying to fix the camera, let's do our neural activation. Okay, neural activation, reaching up to the sky. All the way up, first go, drop into a base position. Second go, let's go two inch runs really quick, nice and fast. Here we go, all the way up. Go, go. Three, two, one. And relax. Good, all the way up. Go, go. Three, two, one, and relax. Good, one more. All the way up. Go, go. Three, two, one, and relax. Grab a quick drink of water. Ever since the time change, my phone doesn't like this class. I think it doesn't like the fact that it's not up at the right time. I don't know. All right, guys. So the first block, <clears throat> we are going into our density training. Okay. So it's not timed other than I have a set time for us. Okay. And I'll update you. We're shooting for at least four rounds. If you get more, that's okay but we wanna make sure that we're controlling our movements. So our first one, with or without weight, your choice, but we're going RDL, okay? So I'm gonna stand shoulder width, slight bend in those knees, push those hips to the back of the room as I come down to about mid shin, and then I'm gonna explode up, okay? Down slow, explode up. Make sure those glutes are going to the back of the room. Okay, you're not hinging with straight legs. You have a slight bend in your knees, hips go back. You should feel that weight transition to your heels, okay? You have 10 of those. From there, going down to the ground. Now there's two different ways to do this one. If you're doing body weight, I'll show you the other way. But we're gonna come into our dead bug bracing position. And we're gonna go single arm bench. And actually I'll switch sides. Single arm bench. Come down about a 45, drive it up. Down about a 45, drive it up. Okay, and we're doing five, I believe. No, six each side there. Okay, six each side. And if you're doing your body weight, <clears throat> you're going to go here and you're just gonna do your nice slow push ups down and then power up. Okay, not a plyo push up. I'm not expecting air under your hands, but I want you to go down slow, up fast, as fast as you can. Okay, if you need to drop to your knees for the up part to go faster, that's awesome. Okay, I want the up fast, but on the way down, I'd like you on your toes and force that slowness. Okay, from there, <clears throat> next one atomic crunch. Now you can use sliders if you want, or you can jump in and out. It's up to you. I might transition between the both. Okay, we're gonna be here in plank position. I go in and out, in and out, okay? You have 10 of those, okay? And then we're finishing out the round with our explosive movement, which is, because it's a lower pole day, split squat jumps, okay? So I get in my reverse lunge position, and then we go up and switch sides, okay? If you do not wanna jump, you can just step it out quickly, okay? Just try to step it out quickly. We're going five each, okay? So 10 RDLs, six each side for your single arm bench or six slow and then explode push-ups. 10 atomic crunches, five each side of our split squat jumps, okay? 
Go ahead and get your stuff ready. Now with this first round, grab water whenever you need it. Take a break whenever you need it. We'll get started here in a second. I'm giving you guys a minute to get your stuff ready. Set your weights because I know some of you have your weights that you set up. All right, I got 15 minutes on the clock. Okay, 15 minutes on the clock. Actually, 15 minutes and 10 seconds, so it gives us a countdown. We're going to start in 10 seconds. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Go RDL first. Nice flat back, come down slow. Explode up, down slow. Good. Just like that. Make sure you keep a soft bend in your knees until you come all the way up. And then your first movement is soft bend in those knees. Get your 10. And then going into that single arm bench or push-up, single arm bench or push-up. <clears throat> now, I don't know if you guys can see those or not, but I did not hang those medals there because they're mine. Those are Lucas's. That is a gold and a bronze from wrestling tournaments so far this year. The little guy's kind of a beastly little wrestler which is awesome. We have his last tournament of the year this weekend. So hopefully he has fun at that one too. He's been doing really well. Here pretty soon, he's gonna be beating dad up all the time. And I kid myself saying something day because he already does. They both do. 10 atomic crunches in and out like a double mountain climber. And up on your feet for split squat jumps. Five each side. And then right back to the top. Grab water if you need it. Now, if you're following me on pacing, I'm watching the clock and I'm shooting for four. Okay. Just because it's the, the number I want you guys to hit. So that way, if you're sticking with me, you're hitting the number that's on the list. If you're going a little faster than me, that's great. You might get an extra round, maybe a half in. And at the end of class, or after this round, I guess, if you guys want, you can throw in the chat how many rounds you got here, and we can make adjustments for when we're doing these densities. That way I can get the timing right and the rep counts right. Okay, and then that way we can start dialing in this program. So communication with you guys is key because that's what helps this program be more personalized, even though it's a group exercise class, okay? So don't feel afraid to send a chat to host. That's just to me. Or if you want everybody else to see how amazing you are, which you all are, because you're here doing class in the morning, then you can share that in the chat to everyone. 
Okay. <laughs> We're all here together. We're all getting better every day. That's the point. <sighs> Anybody else love atomic crunches? <laughs> uh, I say that with all the truth in the world. I split squat jumps. Sometimes I find it easier to use my fingers to count for those split squat jumps because if I don't, I feel like I'm shorting myself somewhere. <clears throat> so just, I count on one side and then I do the other, come back, count on that side. So that way I know I'm getting both sides. <sighs> Coach's trick. So your coach doesn't cheat too much. Somewhere in here, I'm probably cutting reps out. Now on your RDL, remember I cannot see you, so make sure those hips are going to the back of the room. You're looking about a foot in front of your feet. You're not letting your shoulders sag down. You're keeping your back active. <sighs> Using those hips. And on that bench press or push up, just make sure on the eccentric part, which is the downward part, you are going slow. And on the way up, you're going fast. Okay. Now, if you have to double weights also to get enough mass for something, just please be careful. Don't drop them on yourself. Been there, done that. Fifteen pounds is heavy when it falls on you. Oh, another exciting news. You guys didn't get to hear this yet because you're my morning class. <sighs> Yesterday, pretty much all day, it snowed here in the great white north Idaho, which it's not, it's still not white snow yet, except for up on the ski mountain. But it was snowing and 35 degrees was the max temperature all day long. So if it would have dropped another degree and a half, it would have been sticking all over the place. So winter is here. <laughs> so your coach is going to be donning a parka one of these days and going and working out outside. No, not probably not. Unless you guys want me to. In that case, I'll do it. Freeze to death, but I'll do it. All right. <clears throat> We're at six minutes left. So I'm actually going a little fast today, which is fine. No big deal. Come up here, say hi to all you guys. And John, Bill and Cindy, Maj, Maria, Monica, Naju, Trisha, Kamel. Good morning. Welcome, everybody. You guys are awesome. Waking up 
either skipping that morning coffee or drinking it while you work out. Getting in your movement first thing in the morning. Tell you what, when my alarm goes off, the only reason I come to class is because of you guys. <laughs> I would probably stay in bed, especially if Jace is still sleeping. I'd probably stay in bed. So you guys are my motivation to get up, get moving, be healthy, which is a good thing because like I said, <sighs> Lucas is getting to that point where here pretty soon, dad's not going to be able to hold them off. So I better keep working out while I can. <sighs> He'll be teaching your guys' classes here pretty soon. Now, I did mention, and going back to the time we have in class, I did mention that as we get better with this density training in this class right now, these ones, we will gain rounds because we will get stronger and be able to go a little faster without having problems so that will happen so if we're getting five rounds that's great if we're getting six that's great <clears throat> now when we actually are doing density densities we're going to change things up because the goal is four for real density training this is a block of density just another way of saying an AMRAP I'm not looking for a specific like keep you under a certain number by making you do really hard things. I'm looking to just get you guys moving within a different kind of a training. But as we get better, right? We still got three minutes left, three minutes and 30 seconds. So we have enough time for another round. So I'll actually get five today, even with stalling. And it's not stalling, it's taking educated breaks, right? Educated breaks. All right, last round. Good job. Okay, so now once we're done here, I'll demo our next movements while you guys are getting your little break in. Okay, so I'll demo our next block of strength. I want you guys resting. Now we are doing slider curls in this next round. So with that, Find something that slides on your floor. If not, if you don't have anything that slides on your floor or you can't get your heels to slide, we'll do walkouts. So I will show that. But just so you know, while you're taking your quick little break, find some sliders or a towel that'll slide on the ground. because That's part of our next strength block. <sighs> Got about a minute left. So once you're done with your last movement in the round you're on, go ahead and take a break.
and rest. Get a little extra rest, a little 30 seconds extra. So I'm going to take that, get a drink before I demo our next movement. Another thing you can answer for me, what do you guys think of the new logo, the new colors? Uh, there's that part of the logo too. So you might see us in shirts that have just the big X across it, uh, the new Exos logo, the new colors, no more black and orange, which is good because Bill has already noticed that I have gray and black and that's all. <sighs> good job, seven and six, good job guys. Good job. So yeah, we're right on track. Um, I think the last time I got four, you guys got five and six. So we're all progressing just slightly, which is good. Awesome, nice. All right, let's go <clears throat> next round. Okay, what we have next, we are going single leg curls, we're going curl to press, and then we're doing our leg lift holds at different heights, okay? So leg curls, single leg, okay? Did I grab my slider? Yes, I did. If you have a slider or your foot slides, we're gonna come into that hook position, drive up, out, and back, okay? I'm not looking for you to get all the way out with these because we're going for 20 seconds, okay? So you're gonna wanna pace yourself. Now, if you don't have a slider that works, you can come into that glute bridge position, walk out and walk back. Now, the difference is with people with sliders, you're going 20 seconds on, then you get a 10 second rest, and then we're switching sides, going 20 seconds on the other side. For those of you doing walkouts, you're doing 20 seconds, rest 20 seconds. So you're doing both rounds the same. Okay, curl the press. We're gonna come do a half kneeling position. Okay, half kneel. And I'm gonna curl, press over my head, bring it back down. Like, so. oh, actually, what did we do? Oh, it says two. Okay, two arm, curl the press. So I'm gonna stand up, curl, press overhead, bring it back down, okay? 20 seconds of curl the press. Then last in this round, coming down to the ground, we're gonna go, I like to put my hands next to my tailbone because I have a tail, I guess, and it likes to dig into the hard floor. So I'm gonna come here. And the first one, we're coming just off the ground, about two inches, okay? Nice tight core, you're gonna hold for 20 seconds. The next round, up about six. Then we're going about 12, then about two feet. And that's the end of the rounds, okay? So you're gonna do different height each round that we go through. Make sense? Okay, starting with leg curls. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We have our four rounds. Okay, so get yourself ready. Here we go, 10 seconds, starting with leg curls. Five seconds, three, two, one, go. Make sure your glutes are off the ground as you're doing your leg curls. Now I still want you to get as many as you can, but you can pace yourself a little bit. Rest, switching sides. We're gonna have a Jace come join us. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Okay, you can come do class. Okay. Okay. And rest. Grandpa and grandma are gone today, so dad gets to babysit while mom drops Lucas off at school. Three, two, one, curl the press. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. So you got two inch leg lift in three, two, one. Hold just barely off the ground. Keep your core tight. Don't let your back arch a ton off of the ground. You can relax your head down if you want. I have to look at the clock so I don't get to. Rest. Good. Leg curls. Now, can I find it? I did. I am going to go with the opposite leg to start. Three, two, one, go. You do not have to. I just like to mix it up. I wish I had a slide board when every time I do leg curls. Slide boards are really cool. If you're looking to rest, if you're looking to build up your equipment you have, slide boards you can do so many things with. So if you want, look those up. Three, two, one, go. You've always wanted to build a tower? Yeah. Rest. Curl the press coming up. You guys are doing good. Two, one, go. That's awesome, bud. Rest. All right, we're going six inch, six inch this time. We need to hang. We don't need my two, one, go. I need a measuring stick so that I know where that's at. And rest. Leg curls coming up. Three, two, one, go. Rest. Hamstrings on fire. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I have to pay for this cameo of Jace, by the way. He, he charges me a buck every time he shows up on a class. He makes more than I do. <laughs> And rest, curl to press. Oh, pretty bad when curl to press, which isn't easy by any means, is my favorite one. Two, one, go. Because those hamstrings are sore. Leg lifts are just not easy. Nope. Rest. All right, we're going up a foot. Going up a foot. Three, two, one, go. Keep breathing. And rest. Good job. All right, leg curls, last round. Three, two, one, go. And rest. 
Switching sides. Three, two, one, go. And rest. Ah. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Rest. Good. You got two foot, two foot coming up. Two, one, go. And rest. Good. Rest for a second. Just a second. I'm going to finish things out real quick with a quick little 10 on, 10 off for four rounds is all. Okay. We have squat jacks. So we're going to go wide at the bottom, narrow at the top. If you want to do jump press, you can. I'm giving my shoulder a break, but if you want to do our jump press that we did last time, wide, narrow, pressing your arms up with weight. Okay, I'm going to go wide, narrow, jumping jack style to loosen up my shoulder. Okay, your choice. We have four rounds, 10 on, 10 off. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Get in as many as you can in 10 seconds. Rest. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Rest. Deep breaths. Three, two, one, go. Rest. Five seconds. Last one. Three, two, one. Go. And rest. All right. Go ahead and widen those feet out about elbow width. Fold forward. Slide those hands down to the floor. Stretch out those hamstrings. Walk those hands to the right side. Walk it on over to the left side. Come to center, roll up nice and slow. Good, interlace those fingers. Reach up to the sky, pull yourself up. Like you're being pulled to the sky with your feet stuck in the mud. Good, from there forward fold again, right down the center. And I want you to go right and left after a breath. I'm going to read you guys' this quote for the day. Okay, make sure you get your right, left, and then come back up to that hands up position. Courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Marianne Rodmacher. So that is so true, right? Not always does things go the way we want. 
courage is knowing that tomorrow you can try again. Okay, so that goes for work, that goes for family life, that goes for workouts, that goes for everything, right? Having the courage to continue on even when you've had a bad day, that's where courage is, okay? Might not come out like the Katy Perry song, Roar, right, or whatever it is, but you putting the time and effort in to make things better, whatever that might be, is amazing. So if you, you want to talk goals, you want to talk about going into the, the new year and how you can kick things off and maybe set something that you can look forward to, let me know. We're doing one-on-ones. We're doing a ton of stuff. So I can send you a link to schedule. I'd love to talk to you guys outside of class anytime, um, even if it's just to tell me how bad my dad jokes are, okay? So again, thanks for being here. Have a great morning. Go ahead and release those hands. Come down, sweep those toes one last time off and roll up nice and slow. You guys are awesome. I look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. We're going to be doing a total body workout, so we're really going to be tired. So thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Talk to you guys soon.